I'm comparing the top 10 best CRMs in 10 minutes to help you choose the right one. Now I'm Drew Brockbank and I've set up CRMs for over 150 businesses spending countless hours in every major CRM. We'll compare ease of use, capability, cost, and more so you don't waste time or money on the wrong CRM. Zoho CRM is for businesses that want an all-in-one tool for sales and marketing for an affordable price. Zoho technology is trusted by over 90% of the Fortune 500, has 130 million users, and has been around for more than 20 years. I like Zoho because it helps to keep track of everything in one place. You can connect your email and calendar, message people, organize contacts, and use reports, workflows, and scripts to make sales and marketing easier. I also like Zoho's built-in AI Zio, which helps write emails, score contacts, suggest automations, and more. What I like most about Zoho is Zoho One because it combines over 45 business apps like CRM, email marketing, SMS, projects, accounting, HR, help desk, books, sign, analytics, and more into one platform for an affordable price. This makes it much easier to run your whole business in one place instead of paying for and trying to connect a bunch of different apps. What I don't like is that Zoho CRM can be overwhelming because it has so many different features and settings. Sometimes it's hard to know what features to use and when. Soho CRM has different yearly plans starting for free up to three users, standard $14, professional $23, enterprise $40, and ultimate $52 per user per month. Zoho One, billed yearly, costs only $37 per employee per month for all employee pricing and $90 per user per month for flexible user pricing. HubSpot CRM is for businesses that do a lot of online marketing, especially inbound marketing. Founded in 2006, HubSpot has over 258,000 customers in more than 135 countries. I like HubSpot because its inbound marketing tools are best in class. I can create landing pages, automate emails, track analytics, and write blogs. The design is clean and polished, and HubSpot has a built-in AI assistant called Breeze. If you can handle the cost, the all-in-one HubSpot Hubs bundle can handle many of your business operations across marketing, sales, service, finance, and more. CRM is not just software, it's the process of helping customers and employees through their journey from end to end. I like CRMs like HubSpot, Zoho, and Salesforce that are part of larger all-in-one systems so you can manage more of your business from one place. Also, it's better to have a tool and not need it than to need a tool and not have it. What I don't like about HubSpot is that costs scale quickly. The free and cheap tiers look great, but automation reporting and advanced features push prices really high, really fast. This is the platform's biggest drawback and people complain about it a lot. HubSpot can also be overwhelming because of how much it can do. HubSpot CRM has different yearly plans that include a free tier with basic CRM features, $9 per seat per month for the starter customer platform, $90 per seat per month for the sales hub professional, $4,700 per month for the enterprise customer platform all in one system, which includes eight seats with additional core seats starting at $75 per user per month. Salesforce CRM is the biggest CRM company in the world by market share in trades on the stock exchange under the ticker symbol CRM. Salesforce has over 150,000 customers. It's best for businesses that need a very powerful enterprise system with all the bells and whistles. I like that it is a trusted brand. Salesforce has tons of tools for sales, marketing, and service. And I also like that it's highly customizable, has a huge app marketplace, and has different clouds like Sales Cloud, Marketing Cloud, and Service Cloud. Salesforce even has an AI agent builder and library called Agent Force. What I don't like is that Salesforce is very expensive and can get complicated fast. The design of the user interface also gets a lot of complaints. I don't like how many projects I've worked on where companies are looking to move off of Salesforce because they find it overwhelming and expensive. Salesforce CRM has different yearly plans that cost $25 per user per month, build yearly for starter suite, $100 for Pro Suite, $175 for Sales Enterprise, $350 for Unlimited, and $550 for Agent Force One Sales. Monday.com CRM was founded in 2012 and has over 245 thousand customers. I like monday.com because it gives you a variety of templates and automation features to streamline workflows. I also like the clean design that looks like a modernized spreadsheet. As a side note, many people use spreadsheets as CRMs. While spreadsheets are easy to set up, they are hard to scale. CRMs are more difficult to set up, but much easier to scale. Monday.com isn't a spreadsheet, but I like that they try to give you the best of both worlds. What I don't like is that since Monday.com is known more for project management, the CRM can feel like a project management tool forced to be a CRM. While it's user-friendly, the many customization options can be overwhelming for new users. Some advanced features are also limited to higher tier plans. 
Monday.com CRM has different yearly plans that cost $12 per user per month for basic, $17 for standard, $28 for pro, with enterprise pricing available upon request. Microsoft Dynamics CRM is for larger businesses that need their CRM to work with other Microsoft tools. Microsoft Dynamics has over 63,500 customers and has been a key part of Microsoft's business solutions for over 20 years. I like that it integrates smoothly with other Microsoft tools. The platform also provides powerful tools for checking data and uses AI to help you make smart choices. What I don't like is that it can be hard to set up compared to other CRMs. Customization and setup can also require someone who is very good with technology. Microsoft Dynamics has different yearly licenses that cost $65, $105, and $150 per user per month with variable pricing also available. Close CRM is made for small sales teams that focus on calling and emailing a lot of people. Close was founded in 2013 and has helped over 100,000 sales professionals sell more effectively. I like it because it puts calling, emailing, and texting all in one place, which makes reaching out to people easy. Its built-in pipeline management tool helps you keep track of your leads and what you need to do with them. You can tell they put a lot of effort into its design. What I don't like is that Close CRM doesn't have the advanced features that you would find in bigger CRMs. And the pricing isn't always ideal for small teams. It's not an all-in-one business system, so it can't help with things like marketing, service, or finance as well. Close has different yearly licenses that cost $35, $99, $139 per user per month with custom pricing also available for larger teams. Fresh Sales is an easy to use CRM that is good for small to mid-sized businesses that want sales tools powered by AI. Fresh Sales is part of the Freshworks platform, which has been trusted by over 74,000 businesses worldwide and has been operating for over 15 years. I like Fresh Sales because it offers AI-based lead scoring and automation features. It's also great because it has a clean look and works well with other Freshworks products. What I don't like is that some of the best features are only in the more expensive plans. Also, you can't configure it as much as you can like other CRMs. Fresh Sales has different yearly plans that include a free plan, $9 per user per month for growth, $39 for pro, and $59 for enterprise. Go High Level is a CRM built by marketers for marketers that need an integrated platform for CRM, sales funnels, email marketing, SMS marketing, appointment scheduling, and more. Founded in 2018, it has quickly grown in popularity and now powers thousands of agencies worldwide. I like it because it combines many tools like funnels, email marketing, SMS scheduling, and CRM into one system. This makes it easier to manage everything in one place instead of paying for it and trying to connect to a bunch of different apps. I also like that it has a white label feature for marketing agencies. What I don't like is that they have a massive affiliate program where affiliates get a large cut of revenue. Because of this, it feels like a lot of the hype online comes from people who are more motivated by commissions than actually reviewing the product fairly. Go High Level includes two plans, $97 per month for starter and $297 per month for unlimited. Both plans include unlimited users. Pipedrive is a CRM that was made for salespeople by salespeople and is known for its simple pipeline design. Founded in 2018, Pipedrive is used by over 100,000 companies and has received a total of over $90 million in funding. I like Pipedrive because it gives you a clear picture of where your sales are in the process and it keeps things really simple. It also has automations and integrations to make sales easier. What I don't like is that you trade capability for simplicity with Pipedrive. And while tempting, I think that's a bad trade unless you're small and you're not looking to scale. Pipedrive has different yearly plans that cost $14 per user per month for light, $39 for growth, $49 for premium, and $79 for ultimate. Keep formerly Infusionsoft is made for small businesses that want a CRM and a tool for marketing. Keep was founded in 2001, has helped over 200,000 small businesses, and has raised over 125 million in funding. I like Keep because it can manage marketing and sales tasks, process payments, and help teams get more done through automation. The design is simple, which makes it easier for small teams to start using it. What I don't like is it's not a true all-in-one system across marketing, sales, service, finance, and more, which can make your operations more messy. Keep has different yearly plans that start at $249 per month billed yearly, and then you can get a custom plan based on how many users and contacts you want. A note on spreadsheets, simple CRMs, and industry-specific CRMs. With spreadsheets, you can't automate tasks, quickly see related info, or search across all your data. Switching between views is slow, and it's hard to see your data the way that you want, like a Kanban board. They also don't work well with other tools. Spreadsheets are fine for a few customers, but they can't keep up as your business grows. This is why a real CRM is 
important. Simple CRMs are easy to use at first, but you usually give up features for that simplicity. When your business grows, simple CRMs often don't have the tools that you need, and you might need to switch to a bigger system. Industry-specific CRMs seem perfect at first because they are made for one type of business, but they are often limited, rigid, and don't have as much development behind them. They can force you into some workflows that don't fit your business. And I often help people move from these small industry-specific CRMs to bigger systems, and it's something worth knowing before you choose. Hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.